Okay, thanks, Brian. Well, new at noon, two more Milwaukee police officers plead no contest to charges they participated in illegal strip searches. They struck a deal today with prosecutors, reducing their charges and probably their penalties as well. Jonah Kaplan has more on the ins and outs of this deal. The officers today agree to surrender their cars, their badges, their guns, their titles, police officers. But the question remains, does that concession really send a strong enough message to other officers not to repeat that kind of behavior again? Prosecutors accuse these two men, Jeffrey Dahlhoff and Brian Kozilek, of knowingly participating in illegal behavior as police officers. Investigators determined they stood by as their colleagues abused those in custody, even forcing one to defecate in an interrogation room. The state levied several charges against them, but today it threw out all but one, a misdemeanor. Dahlhoff and Kozilek offered a plea of no contest and agreed to resign. If officers who have been sworn to protect and to serve and are supposed to understand the laws of the state and the government and uphold the Constitution are not able to do that, that these are not the types of individuals that should go ahead and continue to be police officers. Jonathan Safran represents the victims who endured those strip searches. The key is that this blue wall of silence doesn't continue and that we don't have a department that allows officers to witness things that they should know are wrong, that are against the law and are unconstitutional. Both the officers and their attorneys refused to comment. As for sentencing, prosecutors recommended a fine and community service to the officers, but the judge has the final say and he can tack on up to 90 days in prison. In front of the courthouse, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. All right, Jonah, thank you. Dahlhoff and Kozelik are the last two officers charged in this illegal strip search scandal. Jacob Knight also resigned and is spending 20 days in jail. Michael Vagnini is locked up for more than two years. Some breaking news now.